All right there. Well, hi everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Jurgens. Uh, today I was going to just draw something, um, a sign of spring on this glass table. Now, don't go drawing on things without asking your parents. Um, but um, since I am the parent, I can do what I want. Ha -ha. So let's see if you guys can figure out what I'm going to draw here. Do 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 do. Okay, don't be afraid to make um, funny noises while you're drawing. All right, now I'm going to use a crazy color here. I think you guys probably already know what I might be drawing here. And then I'm going like this. Cool. So, obviously, that is a frog. No, wait, it's not a frog. It is a flower. So, when I have words in my head that I, I know go with pictures, I usually, well, I usually write them. So, let's write the word flower here. Fl, f, f, and a l, fl. Flower, need a vowel. Flower. What's that, that er sound? Er, flower. I wonder if it's like a growling flower. Flower. No, probably not. It's probably a friendly flower. Um, so let's see here. Now, wait a second. It's not just a flower. It has parts in it. So maybe I'm going to write some parts here. Does anyone know what this part of the flower is? These kinds of things all the way around it. These kind of like, ooh, ooh what are they? Hmm, think about it. I know what they are, and I'll tell you, and I think you already know too. They are p -p petals. So, petals, right? Now, when you're labeling things, this is very important. You draw a line like that. I didn't draw a line here because this word here, flower, is talking about the whole thing. But now when I'm labeling parts of the flower, um, I'm drawing a line. So this is the, the petals part. Now, let's go for this part here. These little things here. Does anyone know what that's called? Hmm, think about it. Mm-hmm. If you said a leaf, you are correct. A leaf. Perfect. Now, what about this part here? If you said a stem, you would be correct. Hmm, you know what I didn't do? Well, what goes underneath the stem? Down here, if I was drawing like a little arrow down below, what's underneath the ground where you can't see it normally? Maybe it's okay that we can't see it. Normally, underground, there are roots. So underneath the ground, there are roots. Here's another leaf, but I don't have to label it twice. Just label it once. That's fine. And also, some flowers, actually all flowers, have things right in the middle. And that is how the flower reproduces. Um, we can talk about that later. You talk about it in, in grade three, I think. But we can talk about it a little bit now. S um, flowers, right in the middle, they have seeds. Seeds. So that would be interesting. If you wanted to go online and try and figure out, you know, how, like... If you looked at Googled like flower seeds, you'd find all different kinds of flower seeds, and they all look different. And probably none of them look like this because this is just Mr. Jurgen's crazy drawing. But that might be something that you could look at. Whenever you have a question, you could ask your parents and say, you know, hey, can we look online? Um, and you have to look with them, but you can discover things. So you could look online actually as an activity, and you could look up flower leaves, right? If you're talking about more than one leaf, you say, leaves. So you could look up that and see all the different kinds of flower leaves that there are. You could look up flower petals on Google and flower seeds, and you could see all the different kinds. That would be kind of cool. Or you could just try and draw a crazy flower of your own and label it, just like Mr. Jurgens did. All right? Have fun, stay safe, guys, and we'll talk soon.